The Ministry of Health in a press release on Wednesday, December 30th, 2020, confirmed nine new cases of COVID-19 out of a batch of 217 COVID-19 tests conducted at the Ezra Long Laboratory. According to the Health Ministry, this brings the total number of cases diagnosed in country to date to 340. All nine cases are St. Lucian nationals. Case number 332 is a seven-year-old female from the Castries district. Case number 333 is a 38-year-old male from the Castries District. Case number 334 is a four-year-old female from the Castries District. Case number 335 is a 31-year-old male from the Groselet District. Case number 336 is a 16-year-old male from the Castries District. Case number 337 is a 22-year-old female from the Castries District. Case number 338 is a 49-year-old male from the Ancillary District. Case number 339 is a 48-year-old female from the Denry District. And case number 300 and 40 is an 84-year-old female from the Castries district. The Ministry of Health says five of these cases are contacts of previously confirmed COVID-19 cases. All of these individuals, according to the press statement, have been tested for COVID-19 and placed in quarantine by health care practitioners pending receipt of their results. Investigations are currently being undertaken to determine the possible existence of an epidemiological link for the other four cases. The Ministry of Health says as per protocol, arrangements have been made for the placement of all these individuals into isolation. The Health Department on Wednesday also reported a total of four recoveries. This brings the total number of active cases currently in country to 62. As St. Lucia prepares to bring the year 2022 a close and usher in a new year, the Ministry of Health in the dispatch expressed appreciation to citizens of St. Lucia in the effort over the course of this year to reduce the impact of COVID-19. Public health authorities once again appeal to the public to adhere to the COVID-19 prevention and control measures to minimize the spread of the virus. Colby DeVoe, HDS News Force.